100% of the babies who were placed in this baby safe island, as it's called in Chinese, uh, were ill. Uh, and that underlines the point that in China, when an impoverished family gives birth to a child uh, that has some uh, severe medical problems, they simply can't afford uh, the health care that goes along uh, with, this, uh, with this responsibility. Uh, so out of the 262 children who were placed in this, uh, in this baby hatch, uh, we had 32 cases of severe congenital heart disease, uh, 110 cases of cerebral palsy, uh, and, and many of those children uh, were over the age of one. Uh, some were as old as five or six. Uh, so I think the story that is uh, not getting out is the story that, that many parents felt that they simply couldn't care for their children or couldn't provide them with the special education that they might need. And there's a belief that if those children are handed over to the state, the state will then provide that medical care for free. The baby hatches were quite controversial because some people believe that they would simply encourage parents to abandon their children. Uh, but many experts say, are saying that's simply not true, that uh, children are abandoned across China all the time. In fact, the survival rate for an abandoned child is just 30 percent if that child is found on the street or is simply left inside a hospital. Uh, instead, uh, the, the plan to uh, establish these baby hatches across China uh, was in the hope that more abandoned children or children who were simply surrendered by their parents uh, to the state uh, would have a higher survival rate. And, and that's shown to be true, uh, that children who are uh, placed in these baby hatches have a survival rate of 90%.